It's about um, people who are suffering and whether we meet their needs. I met a young physician in South Jersey who's doing what I think is right now happening across the country and is kind of the story outside the beltway, which is a radical transformation in the ways that we are taking care of people. It used to be that these folks were the ones we avoided. If you were an insurer or you were someone who was in the healthcare business because you, you, you just saw them as a straight out cost. But this physician said, I think these people are getting the worst care and it's an opportunity. And there's a number of people who have begun doing that. So he made a map, for fascinating reasons, after seeing how hot spotting was done in the police world while he was on a citizen reform commission that got kicked off for you know, dig digging into the data too much. He poked at the data to look at, well, who, who are the 1% uh, of people who account for the highest cost in the city? 1%, 100,000 people in the city. It was 1,035 people. They accounted for 30% of the costs in the city. They accounted also for 39,000 visits to the hospital and ER in five years. The lowest had 24 visits. The highest had 324 visits. They had $375 million in bills. Could have paid for the amount of money that actually was forked over for them for more than 100 family physicians for just that 1,000 people. The typical family physician has 2,000 people on their panel. And so he said, I will be their doctor. And he started tracking them down one by one. And he found a blind diabetic, for example, who hadn't been taught how to inject their insulin. And so he'd go to the doctor, and his sugars were through the roof. But when you visited his home and you said, show me how you draw your medicines, as this doctor did, he found that he would put it on the table in order to feel where it was, stick his syringe in, draw up, and then inject himself with air. And so no wonder his diabetes was out of control and one thing after another. How would you design a world that began to change that? Well, what you see around the country are a huge number of innovators who are designing solutions that go into the home. Sometimes they're sending a pharmacist in the home. Sometimes they're sending a doctor in the home. Sometimes it's a nurse. Or they are putting someone on staff whose job is to help everyone in that family practice figure out how to stop smoking. But these kinds of programs are lowering costs, 20, 30, and 40 percent in numbers. It's still at a very innovative phase. People aren't sure how to scale and drive these forward. But what we're seeing is that you're, you have an explosion and a shift in investments from just drug and device in healthcare to how you innovate and make healthcare services change. 